Okay, hey Taurus, so this is going to be a general reading. Taurus, I'm getting like, find somebody that's going to invest in you. That's what I'm getting to tell you, Taurus. Like, um, at the end of the day, that's all that matters is connecting with somebody that genuinely wants to connect with you. And like, you don't have to be out here uh, feeling like you got to prove yourself or feeling like you have to overinvest and, you know, kind of neglecting yourself. Like, you don't want to do that. That's a big no-no. So find you somebody that's going to invest in you, that's going to take action and that's genuinely interested in connecting with you and getting to know you, Taurus. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have here for Taurus? You may be meeting this person. What did I just say? Find you somebody that's going to invest in you here. That's what I'm getting. Somebody that wants to, you know, I'm getting just see how you're doing. See how your day went. You know, interested in what it is you're doing. Like, you know, and vice versa. You'd be interested in that person. But you will know when somebody is genuinely interested in you versus when somebody is just going along with the motions and, you know, just trying to, you know, make it appear as if they're interested or, you know. Yeah, like, also, don't be, um, I'm getting, don't deal with people that string you along, or maybe this could be some, a situation that you was dealing with in the past in regards to somebody that was not fully invested in you, and, like, things was moving really slowly, but maybe this individual did have a lot of love for you, or maybe this could be somebody that does have love for you. Um, but, you know, th somebody was just not fully investing here um you know it's one thing to go with the flow of the relationship and enjoy the relationship but it's a whole nother thing to just like sit around and wait for somebody to reciprocate the energy that you put into whatever they see is like you don't want to over invest is what i'm getting here towards Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it could be a situation as to where like this was a karmic lesson that you needed to learn in regards to self-esteem and you just knowing your worth and you knowing your value here, Taurus. It's just like uh, it's a situation from the past where you were um, putting in a lot in regards to this could be somebody this could even be something that you were doing but it wasn't bearing any fruit is what i'm getting because like you were over invested in something and it's important to know when you should pull back your energy and kind of focus on yourself investing in you because if you are constantly out here trying to fill up somebody else's cup then that means you are not filling up your cup and like you need to make sure that you are investing in yourself here as well towards give me just a second Okay, sorry about that. You know, I cannot stand when that camera is crooked towards. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm telling you, like, this is, like, something that you were doing in the past. Or, while wow, this also could be, like, a pattern that was repeating. Maybe it's in regards to somebody or something like that. Like, you were over-invest in somebody. And this person would invest the bare minimum or like somebody would barely invest in you. Somebody with this uh knight of pentacles, this is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So somebody was kind of apprehensive or hesitant to, you know, invest in you or, you know, tell you how they felt or somebody could have been holding back. Like it's somebody that really wanted to invest in you, but this individual would kind of, you know, hold back or something like that here. I don't know. Maybe it could have been out of fear or something. Or maybe this person could have just been kind of non-committal. Yeah, but uh, you cannot make this up here, Taurus. You could have been dealing with somebody, Taurus, that really genuinely is in love with you. But this person is non-committal or was non-committal in the past. Or this person, whatever this person felt between you and them, it's like this. Per it was really intense. And it caused this person like to pull back somebody. Maybe this is somebody coming into a realization that they're in love with you. And I got this energy in a reading a couple days ago, which I did not post in regards to somebody that was a player falling in love with you here, Taurus. But this is somebody that barely invested in you in the past. And when this individual realized like, okay, I think I got some strong feelings here for Taurus, it scared this person. 
I don't know why I'm getting like somebody got cold feet or somebody was nervous or something like that. So this individual started like pulling back from you and you're always the one that's over investing here. It's time for you to match energy with energy here, Taurus. Don't be out here over investing. If somebody can't address whatever it is they're feeling for you and you know be mature enough to have those conversations then you need to move forward you need to take action and people that are taking action when it comes to you here Taurus. you need to connect with people that are you know wanting to uh move forward or build with you or see where things can go because i'm really getting towards you can have somebody that's in love with you here but this person is like this person could have been a player or it's like this individual was shocked in that previous reading that I did a couple days ago, uh, it was somebody that realized, like, somebody that was always, you know, right there, like, they was in love with that individual. And it's, like, I did not put that reading out, but I may put it out with this reading. Somebody is realizing that or somebody realized that about you and this person got real nervous. I don't know. And, like, ran or somebody is just, this person could be running, like, not necessarily running from you. This person could just be pulling back emotionally, you know, as to not, wow, okay, here we go again. I'm getting lead you on. And I got that energy in that previous reading. Somebody could be pulling back because they don't want to lead you on or some, but this individual is really in love with you. This person is scared. Oh, wow. Somebody's afraid of commitment. So somebody's pulling back because they don't want to lead you on, but they're in love with you and they really want, a ten of pentacles with you or they really want to invest in you and have a, a relationship with you or see where things could go but it scares this person so somebody is pulling back that's what i'm getting but somebody is in love with you or something it's like i don't know it's like maybe you could have been the one that was always you know like i said over investing in the past and now you're starting to match energy with energy. You got somebody that was a player that then fell in love with you. This individual is going to slowly start investing in you, showing you how much they really like somebody's going, you're going to see that somebody's in love with you, but it may scare this person. This person may start pulling back here. I don't know. This is like some type of back and forth emote, like some type of, yeah. Okay, it could be this uh, King of Swords here. It's like it's back and forth. This man really sees you as his happiness. Maybe in the past you weren't very confident here as well, Taurus. It's not that you weren't confident. It's that you was over-investing here and it made you appear as if you were... I don't know. I'm I'm getting like maybe desperate, but you ain't desperate. You're just a like a very loving person. But Taurus, you like I said, you can't be out here filling up somebody else's cup and you ain't filling up your cup. Now you could be coming up out of this energy here. You're coming up out of this energy and it's intriguing somebody. Taurus, this person may start chasing you. This King of Swords, like he's gonna be chasing you here because now you're investing in yourself. Instead of investing, overly investing in him. And he is going to shock him. This is going to shock him. Because he's going to be like, okay, what's going on? Like, somebody's going to fall in love with you and realize like, okay, I done fell in love with Taurus. And this is a player. This is a player here. And this person is going to be like, damn, I done fell in love with Taurus. Like, I I really want to see Taurus. I miss Taurus. Um... Yeah, somebody's going to start realizing just how I'm getting divine you are, but also how, like, dope you are here, Taurus. Maybe it's like you're coming up out of your shell here. That's what I'm getting. So maybe uh, you can have water highly aspected in your chart. Cancer could be significant, but it's like you're coming up out of your shell. Uh, you're no longer, um, how can I say this? You're no longer censoring yourself, Taurus. It's like you're unfiltered. You're like, okay, you're going to like me or you ain't going to like me. At the end of the day, I'm going to be me, so I really don't give a damn. I'm not about to keep being shy and docile and holding back who I truly am because I'm afraid of you not accepting me or liking me or due to some type of, you know, fear of rejection. Like, you're no longer in that energy. You're like, this is me. This is Taurus. You're going to like it or you ain't. 
you know, you ain't rude or nothing like that here as well, Taurus, but you're gaining your confidence. And you're not out here trying to, you know, be accepted, seek approval from anybody. You could be focusing on yourself, your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. And, like, that's also very attractive here as well to this King of Swords. Because, like, you have your own things or you do your own things or you're focusing on you. You're not overly investing in whoever this masculine energy is because in the past you were overly investing in this person and now it's just like okay it's like you deal with this person on your terms on your like if this individual is going to deal with you on his terms you're going to deal with him on your terms it's like okay you're not going to like go out of your way to make yourself available for this man like you would in the past and yeah, he's paying attention. That's what I'm getting. He's paying attention here. Yeah. It's like in the past, this man would invest the bare minimum in regards to you here, Taurus. Now he's up out of that energy. He's about to start investing in you or pursuing you here, Taurus. And it's mainly because you are filling up your cup. That's what I'm getting. You're not concerned with what this man is out here doing. You're not concerned with who he out here, you know, while <laughs> canoodling. What? I don't even use that term. But um, you're not concerned with who he out here. You ain't concerned with none of that. You are focusing on yourself here, Taurus. You are focusing on healing. You are focusing on understanding what within you caused you to overinvest in just anybody here in the past that was not investing in you or like the energy was not being matched. Now you are matching energy here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yep. And I'm telling you, this man's like, okay, I'm in love with Taurus. Okay, shit, 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 shit. I done fell in love with Taurus. This king of swords done fell in love with you. Could be a, a air sign here. This person has a air highly aspect in his chart. This person could also be showing up as this king of swords because he could have been flighty in the past. Like when he would get feelings or catch feelings for you. Uh, wow. He would hold back his feelings to intentionally not, uh, catch feelings for you or you know when he would start feeling a certain type of way about you like realizing that he like you or he's like really like okay i can see things going somewhere with tours he would immediately shut that down by being kind of flighty non-committal or just kind of trying to hold back or whatever to get you like have you guessing wondering like okay does he like me does he whatever you ain't wondering about none of that you don't care if this man like you if he want but you ain't worried about none of that it's like i'm gonna deal with you on my time just like you deal with me on your time I'm not going to keep over investing in you. I'm a macho energy. Period. If this man was to go on and connect with somebody else, it don't matter. Like, it don't bother you because you're not out here just waiting on him. You're out here doing you here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. You ain't putting yourself on hold or your life on hold to wait for this man. You're out here investing in people that want to invest in you. And if this man ain't the one that want to invest in you, you're going to go connect with somebody that's taking action. That's what this is here, Taurus. And this man is like, okay, well, maybe Taurus ain't as, you know, maybe this man thought that you was like, I'm not really getting like desperate or anything. I'm really getting this man thought that you was, mm -hmm, you would over invest in him. He felt like he would always have you as an option. You know, if that makes sense, like maybe this is somebody that you were dealing with here in the past or somebody from your past, but like he always thought you would be around as an option. You're like, no, sir. Uh-uh. I got a lot of love for you. I love you. Yes. I, I respect you. Yes. But I love myself as well. I respect myself here as well. So at the end of the day, I'm no longer in this queen of wands in reverse energy. I'm moving forward with my life. I'm investing in me, and if you want to be a part of that, then you can get on board, or if not, you can go find who or what truly makes you happy, because I'm not about to continue to over-invest in you when you're not reciprocating any of that energy. Like who's liking you, Taurus, one who wants you, Taurus, at the end of the day, that's what you need to do. Like who likes you, one who wants you. Invest in those individuals. Invest in individuals that are taking action. My phone just ding. Confirmation. Okay, I'm about to close this out here, Taurus.
Yeah, we had the death card fall on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> we got the uh, Ace of Swords and we got the uh, Three of Swords. Like, yeah, in this cycle of, you know, dealing with, you know, situations where you end up disappointed. Um, Scorpio could be significant to you as well and Libra. Um, yeah, this King of Swords could be a Libra or this individual. I'm telling you, this individual, this masculine energy, he's in some very kind of like flighty energy it's like this man loves you he wants you he wants to invest in you but he's apprehensive and he's nervous because he's a player and he ain't used to like feeling this way about you i don't know this is crazy let me see what the outcome of this situation is gonna be <laughs> wow i don't know why i'm getting um I'm getting wedding bells. Okay. What's the outcome of this situation going to be? Somebody regretting. Being sneaky. This man going to regret. Like, damn, I should have known. I couldn't play with Taurus like that. I should have known. I should have known I couldn't be, play with Taurus like that. Like, somebody's going to be in regret. Because for some, you may move forward and connect with somebody. Like, you're going to start investing in who invests in you. And that's when you're going to meet somebody. Oh, wow. Okay. So, somebody from your past that's always been in love with you, but was playing games or, you know, kind of being apprehensive. This, and for some, this individual may end up missing out on an opportunity to connect with you. And you're going to go on to connect with somebody uh, that's going to fully invest in you. And for some, this individual is going to be in constant regret here. Or this individual is in regret now for not investing in you. And this individual wants to come in and invest in you and see where things could go. What's going to be the outcome of the situation? So for some, you may end up going into a higher level of commitment with this person. And for some, you may end up going into a higher level of commitment with somebody else. And this person is going to be in regret. Yeah, regret not making a move towards you here. Yeah, like, <laughs> but you ain't up in your head about it. Yeah, I'm telling you, for some, you may move forward and connect with somebody different or somebody new here. And you're going to have somebody that just regrets, like, not fully investing in you or something like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, look here, somebody's going to be in regret here. And then, like I said, for some, somebody's going to come up out of this energy of, you know, playing these games or, you know, kind of being apprehensive and come in and say, no, I want my Taurus. I want Taurus. This is who I want. Because somebody doesn't want you to, like, be the one that got away after they realize that they are in love with you. I'm telling you, somebody's going to come in and invest in you here. That's what I'm getting. But it's after you pull back your energy and start focusing on you. And stop worried about what this man is, uh, you know, whatever this is. Like, when you start focusing on you, that's when this man is going to be in this energy. Don't be out here being a pick-me as well, Taurus. No, you a Taurus. You don't do that. Don't be out here being a pick-me here, Taurus. I'm really getting you're not. I'm really getting you're moving on with your life. That's what I'm getting. Um, This man always thought you would be an option for him. And it's just like, no, sir, I'm going to match your energy. I'm matching energy. Like, I'm not... Put my life on hold sitting around waiting on you or waiting on you to figure out who it is you want or what it is you want while you go deal with your options. Wow, this man could have been going and dealing with people like from his past or maybe this man could be still in love with somebody from his past and that's what blocked him from fully investing in you here as well. That could be this whole situation. It's like pay attention to what you got in front of you. Stop looking back towards the past. You know, we're, pay attention to who's in front of you. Somebody's going to regret. Somebody, like, somebody's going to regret. For some, you got somebody's going to, like, come to, like, some type of epiphany or come to their senses and be like, no, I think I want Taurus. I think I'm in love with Taurus, and I want to pursue Taurus, and I want to see where things can go. And then for some, you're just going to have somebody that, like, you're going to be the one that got away. So somebody's going to be thinking back back on the past on you and how they should have invested in you but they was in this energy of playing these games not really wanting to invest you know being non-committal but really being in love with you and all of this other stuff and life is gonna happen things are gonna like you're gonna move forward change and not put your life on hold here yeah i don't know oh you know what 
um, this person may, somebody wants to cut off all their options for you to be with you here towards somebody then, uh, Mm -hmm. maybe somebody's cutting off their options and somebody's like yeah i want taurus i want taurus um yeah because taurus is not going to continue to be an option or whatever this is i don't know somebody's just like what is this here this person could have also been like i don't know for some somebody Yeah, I got that energy in a previous reading. I'm not going to speak on that, though. Let me get a couple more cards, and then I... Mm-hmm. I'm really getting Taurus is not... Taurus is not investing in something. Taurus, this is you. This could be you, or you're like, no... I don't care how much you love me. Like you, you still, if you out here in this, like making these page ass offers or it's like, I love you and I'm really passionate about you, but I just don't want you to think that I'm the one that wants you more than you want me or something like that. You're like, okay, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not doing it. I don't play those games. So Taurus, whoever you are, is just like, you're guarded here. Taurus is not investing here. This is Taurus no longer being in this queen of wands in reverse energy. You know, Taurus is not going to keep over investing in you when you ain't matching that energy. So it's like, maybe this is you here, Taurus. You're pulling back your energy, Taurus. Whether this is love, this can even be like, say for instance, you got work here or whatever this is. It's like, nope, I'm not about to keep over investing. I'm not about to keep putting all of my energy in something or a situation that's not going to, you know, invest in me in the end or whatever this is. It's like you're matching energy here. That's what I'm getting towards. Yeah. Oh, wow. I knew it was a masculine energy. This, this emperor is from your past here. I don't know this emperor here. You're guarded towards him. Mm -hmm. it's like as soon as you started focusing on yourself Taurus, this emperor was like oh no i'm in love with Taurus. i am not letting Taurus be the one that got away i want Taurus. so this man is coming after you here because he wants you and he's in love with you or something um yeah because Taurus and pulled her energy back Taurus is like no sir i'm not about to over invest in you usually Taurus, you're somebody that's very generous with this man you're very kind. You're very like you still you're very kind to him, but it's just like you're not going to allow this man to use, you know, try to take advantage of that. It's like, no, uh, -uh. you going to invest match energy or no, like you paying attention here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you gonna invest or I'm just gonna move on with my life. Like if you don't feel like I'm somebody that's worth investing in, then it, that says enough. That says enough. And this is the tour. This is the energy Taurus is in. Like I don't feel any type of way that I'm not holding that against you. People go. They if somebody wants you, they are gonna let you know. They gonna go out of their way to let you know. But you know, just whatever it is, even if that person has like a you know a very hectic a life, that person is gonna still go out of their way to let you know. And if somebody is not doing that, you are fully aware that that person is not really you know. So it's kind of just like no, I'm invested in me. I'm invested in me here. Like it ain't nothing wrong with that if it's not a match it's not a match if i'm not what you want or who you want then so be it uh ma'am or sir you know i'm just gonna move on with my life i mean it is what it is indecisive 
somebody was indecisive in regards to you here like yeah i want to make taurus an offer but i don't really know and taurus is like i'm gonna make the decision for you because see i'm not gonna sit around waiting on you to decide whether or not i'm worthy of you investing in me so i'm gonna make the decision for you i'm gonna move on with my life and you go find who or what truly makes you happy and maybe this individual could have went out and connect connected with somebody else or maybe this individual is just thinking about you or somebody's thinking about you or reminiscing. But Taurus ain't nobody damn option, period. Yeah, we have correct your mistakes. We have go with the flow. I'm really getting this individual. Like somebody is really regretting like, damn, why didn't I invest in Taurus? Why didn't I choose Taurus? That's what somebody's thinking here, Taurus. I don't know. Somebody's like, why didn't I choose Taurus? Why didn't I choose Taurus? Taurus chose Taurus. Yeah, Taurus chose Taurus. You ain't got to choose Taurus because Taurus is choosing Taurus. Taurus is invested in herself here. Taurus realizes the mistake she was making was overly investing in people that was not matching that energy. Want who wants you. You know, invest in who's taking action, not who's stringing you along and taking action with somebody else then you sitting around wondering what am i not why am i not you know worthy or that you are you always been the prize here Taurus. you just had to see it you had to come up out of this queen of wands in reverse here Taurus, to see your worth and your value and start investing in you the mistake you made was not investing in you overly investing in other people or whatever situation this is and filling up somebody else's cup when not filling up your cup to the point you didn't feel like you felt like you was not worthy or you was not valuable here yeah be decisive you were investing in somebody that was indecisive in regards to you could make up their mind whether or not they wanted tours or whether whether or not they wanted to just be out here being a player or whether or not they wanted somebody else or wasn't closing out a cycle from their past whatever this person was doing they were being indecisive in regards to you so you had to make the decision by coming up out of this queen of wands energy investing in you and now it's just like okay it is what it is you're moving on with your life but i'm gonna end it there taurus best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you